Hi, I'm Jamie Smart, and I'd like to welcome you to this brief video on innate thinking. And innate thinking is a way of describing our innate capacity to have an experience of life, our ability to think, our ability to feel, our ability to perceive. And innate thinking is what's responsible for all our experience of life, the ups and the downs, the good and the bad, the blessings and the curses. You see, it tends to look like we're feeling our circumstances, we're feeling what's happening to us, or we're feeling what's going on in the world. But the reality is, we're feeling our thinking moment to moment to moment. So why is this important? Well, as you get a deeper understanding of innate thinking, it takes a lot off your mind. You see, at the moment, our culture and our species is riddled with a superstition that I refer to as the outside-in misunderstanding. And this superstition is behind so many of the problems that we experience as individuals and as a society. But one of the things you're going to begin to discover for yourself as you continue to explore the information here and, and evaluate it against your own experiences and seeing how it plays out in your own life is that an insightful understanding of innate thinking will kind of raise the tide on your increasing quality of life and give you an, incre an increase in your uh, mental and emotional lifestyle. Now, how does that work? Well, everyone's life is governed by their understanding of how life works. That dictates what we do, what we don't do, what we think, what we don't think. And Gregory Bateson famously said, and I'll paraphrase him, uh, most of the problems in this world are caused by the difference between reality and how we think life works. And so the more your understanding of how life works can correspond with how life actually works, the richer and more profound an experience of life you're going to have, and the greater ease and comfort you're going to have in living a life that fits you perfectly, that fits you like a glove. Um, and to use, uh, you know, because the only thing that's ever getting in the way of that kind of rich experience of life is a misunderstanding, the outside-in superstition, what I call the hidden hamster wheel. And to, uh, to give you an idea of what I mean by that, if we imagine that this crystal ball is your experience of life, you know, your, your clarity, your mind, there are times when things get all stirred up. And you can think of those sparkles as representing the outside-in misunderstanding. The I'll be happy when, you know, I'll be happy when I get the car or the house or the money or the partner, uh, or I'll be happy when I learn to meditate or change my limiting beliefs or whatever. Or, oh God, I hope this doesn't happen or I hope that doesn't happen. Well, all those sparkles are based on a misunderstanding. The idea that we're living in our circumstances rather than the reality that we're living in the experience of our thinking, moment to moment to moment. And when you see that, your mind clears. And when you don't see that, your mind fills up. When we all get lost in the outside-in superstition from time to time. In my case, it's pretty much on a daily basis. I get hoodwinked by this misunderstanding. But the reality of who we really are is always there, just behind the scenes. See, just like I don't have to do anything to clear this liquid, I just need to stop shaking it. By the same to token, you don't need to do anything to clear your mind. The moment you see, in the moment, that you're, all you're feeling is coming from all of your thinking in the moment, your mind will clear. And just like clarity is the nature of the liquid in this sphere, clarity is your nature. And peace and well-being and resilience and wisdom and creativity are all the benefits that come from your true identity, from being who you really are and seeing who you really are. And everything on this website is devoted to you having your own transformation of understanding, to seeing this insightfully for yourself. 
and living more and more fully from an understanding of who you really are, your true identity. Whether you call that consciousness or the energy behind life or your essence, what you call it doesn't matter. What matters is that as you live from that more and more, as you live from that deeper understanding, the richness and quality of your life will continue to improve. So if you're enjoying this, I encourage you to share this with other people. Thank you for your attention.